Okay, so question six on sets um, from the 2017 paper one. Each of the students in sixth year in a particular school has WhatsApp, Instagram, or Snapchat. The number of the numbers who have each app are as follows. 36 have WhatsApp, 40 have Instagram, 54 have Snapchat. 14 students have WhatsApp and Instagram, 24 have Instagram and Snapchat, X students have WhatsApp and Snapchat, but not Instagram, and eight have all three. Okay, so the first thing I notice is that there's no box around this one, like there was in the other two examples um, that we had, which means that there are no students who doesn't have one of the apps. So all of the students who um, were surveyed here have some of the apps. So that's the first thing. So no number goes on the outside. Okay, so 36 have WhatsApp. Be careful, it's not 36 that goes there. It's 36 that goes into all of the different areas that makes up WhatsApp. The same with Instagram, 40 goes into all four areas that makes up Instagram. And then Snapchat, again, the same 54 is the sum of the four areas. Okay, so just like before, we always have to start with the inside. OK, so how many have all three apps? That is the area where all three of these circles intersect. OK, um, and it affects the whole Venn diagram. So always start with the center. How many have all three apps? So eight have all three apps. OK, so that's him done. Now, I'm going to work up from the bottom up. So X students have WhatsApp and Snapchat, but not Instagram. So but not Instagram. That's cover Instagram with your hand and make sure you cover all of the overlap areas as well. So that's but not Instagram. And then it says X student have WhatsApp and Snapchat. So let's put X in there. OK, and that's that one done. OK, so the harder sets questions are the ones with X's. OK, so this is, you know, a relatively hard sets question. Um, we then have 24 students have Instagram and Snapchat, 24. So the mistake that's often made is the 24 goes in here, okay? That's not correct, that's why I've written it in red. So let me circle Instagram for you, that's Instagram. And this is Snapchat, okay? So where do those two um, or circles intersect? Well, it's all of this area here, okay? These ones happen to have WhatsApp as well, but they have Instagram and Snapchat. So both of these areas here need to add, 20, add to 24, not the 24 goes in there by itself, okay? So you need to subtract off the 24 or the eight from the 24 to give you 16 that goes here. Okay, now 16 and eight is 24. And they are the 24 students that have Instagram and Snapchat. And that is the reason you need to put the centerpiece in first, because you don't know what to subtract off these numbers if you don't have the center one in. OK, 14 students have WhatsApp and Instagram. OK, so not 14 that goes in there, but I subtract this eight from the 14 to give me six. And now I have 14 students that have Instagram and WhatsApp. Okay, so I hope that I hope that makes sense. Um, we then have to fill in who has WhatsApp only. That's what you call this area. Who has Instagram only, and who has Snapchat only? Okay, so we use these ones. So again, working from the bottom up, fifty-four students have Snapchat. Okay, so all of this has to add to uh, fifty-four. So x plus eight plus sixteen um, equals. 24 plus x. Okay, so whatever that is, I have to minus it from 54. So 54 minus. So I'm getting 30 minus x for him. OK, and let me explain that now. So what, what we're going to do, what you would do is you'd add up these three numbers and you'd subtract it from 54 to give you what's here. OK, um, so what I've done is I've added 16 and 8 to give me 24. 
I've subtracted that from the 54 and I've got 30. So whatever this X number is, I'm going to subtract it from the 30 and that's going to leave whatever is there. OK, so this is it through algebra or you can do it, I suppose, on your calculator or in your head if you wish. OK, minus by plus is a minus, minus by this plus also gives you the minus X. OK, so Instagram then. So Instagram is a little bit easier because I have no X. So it's literally going to be um, 6 plus 8 plus 16. 6 plus 8 plus 16 is 30. And then just go 40 minus 30 is 10. OK, WhatsApp then. I'll do WhatsApp up here. Um, WhatsApp is 36 students. OK, so we have 6 plus 8 plus X is 14 plus X. 36 minus 14 plus X. 36 minus 14 is 22 minus X. Okay, so that's how you handle the X as you go along. So you can see now why they're just that little bit harder to deal with the X. And the typical question then that follows in part B of this is to find the value of that X, okay? So to find that value of X, you needed to know how many was in the class altogether. And this is why they've told you this, there's 80. Why? Okay, well, all of these all of these have to add up to 80, okay? So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go 22 minus X, uh, plus 6, plus 8, plus X. Okay, so I've done this one, this one, this one, this one. So I'm going to do 10 and 16 next, plus 10, plus 16. That's that one done, plus 30 minus X. And that has to add up to 80. OK, so this is how you figure out what the X is. OK, um, sometimes some of the X's cancel. So minus X plus X cancels there. OK, so then I'm going to add up those numbers. So in my calculator, I'm doing 22 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10 plus 16 plus 30 is 92. So 92 minus X is equal to 80. Subtract the 92 from both sides so that you have minus X being equal to minus 12 or X being equal to 12. OK, so what does that mean? That means that this 12 is going to go there and 30 minus 12, 18 is going to go there. Oh, minus 12 here, 10 would go up there. OK, so on your calculator, then if you go and add up all of these numbers as opposed to the X's, you should, of course, get 80 if you've done your maths right. So 10 plus 12 plus 8 plus 6 plus 10 plus 16 plus 18 does add to give me my 80. So I have confidence now that my um, my X value of 12 is correct. OK, and then the final bit of that question tested some some. Did you know your maths language? The table below shows four statements. Each statement is written in mathematical notation and in English. Complete the table. OK, so this is your mathematical statement and they want to know, could you translate to English or if they give you English, can you translate to maths language? OK, so when I read this, eight is the number of elements in WhatsApp intersecting uh, Instagram, intersecting Snapchat. So that is the only area where the three circles, um, where the three circles intersect. Okay, so eight students have all three apps is what I would write down for that one. Statement two, 24 students have Instagram and Snapchat. OK, uh, oh, yeah, it's not written in math language. So 24 students have. So 24 is the number of students in Instagram. And Snapchat. OK. Um, 
where am I? There's a few words in the in the log tables that tells you some of the sets pieces. Okay, um, so you have the intersection there. You have union, which is everybody. You have less. You have a, an element of, and then you have the null set. So only a couple of them, but, but throw an eye on that if you're struggling with sets notation. Okay, you might get a little bit of help there. Okay, so 24 students have Instagram and Snapchat. Okay, so 10 students have Instagram, but not or less. Okay, you see that line there, less or, or but not, uh, WhatsApp and Snapchat. Okay, so 10 students have Instagram, but not WhatsApp and Snapchat. More students have Snapchat than WhatsApp. So hash S, more students have Snapchat, is greater than hash W. Okay. It's not, not the most straightforward of question. It doesn't come up that often, but that, yeah, that one's kind of a little bit difficult. Okay, so that was that question from um, 2017.